So I just finished watching the latest Balance of Power dev video from David. And I'll tell you what, this is the first time in a long time I genuinely feel like AGS and the community are kind of coming together more. This is a very good video and it genuinely makes me feel excited about the future of New World. On the sort of negative side, we are seeing a very heavy ranged meta in OPR. Now, hear me out before you all unsubscribe or dislike or come and teabag me in OPRs. <laughs> I, I feel like the general gist of this video is going in the right direction for the large uh, player base here. Now, we've had some big discussions on Twitch. We've had some big discussions on uh, YouTube uh, in the comments about you know what what about this weapon what about that weapon oh my god you shouldn't say that oh my god you shouldn't say that my opinions are quite um forward and i will tell you them how they are and you know lots of people disagree especially the especially the ranged <laughs> <laughs> um, let's get into this. I'm going to run you through some of the main points, some of the things that I think are good, some of the things I think uh, a little bit off, and then we'll just uh, bullet point them up for you. So let's jump into this. Well, are you happy with the changes you made in season one? Uh, overall, we're pretty happy with the changes. So the first big balance pass we've got recently, um, David, David says here that they're happy in general with the changes, and ultimately it's a really good foundation looking forward into the future of new world now initially i was like oh man really dude really there's so much more that needs to be done but yeah it's a good foundation uh, and the things that they've separated uh fortification um uh, uh cc versus damage all this sort of thing the things that they've started to uh separate is a good foundation going forward what they've said is a nice shift in meta now this is mainly looking at arenas and expeditions and i would tend to agree here now when i'm playing arenas i do genuinely see a larger variety of builds being used now and i don't do too many expeditions so i'm going to take his word for this but all, what i did see was a lot of people struggling on genesis you know normally we go into genesis bam 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 farming farming umbral shards but i saw a lot of people uh you know getting team wiped the um the the you know the, the boss you know the first boss and it's awesome it's really cool to see and that's the sort of changes that i actually genuinely like i just didn't get around to doing the expeditions um obviously oprs and stuff are a little bit different but nice shift in meta for arenas and expeditions what is the overall state of balance in new world now uh we're seeing a lot of strength in the magic weapons this next bit is freaking awesome and it's something that if you guys watch my twitch i bang on about it every single stream what they've said is here not they acknowledge the ranged meta in opr and they're thinking it could be something to do with the scoring or the layout of opr i i, I cannot tell you the amount of times i've spoken about this and this just brings to me personally i know for some of you guys this is going to be annoying but to me personally this just brings absolute joy for me for thinking about potentially playing opr in the future a new map would be nice, but this is a start. <laughs> um, I think they get onto it a little bit more in a minute, but um, lots of bow usage, but has low low win rates. So what, what that ultimately means is we are seeing loads of bows being used. But if you are using a bow and you've got 10 bows on your team, typically you're going to lose the match because no one's capping the points. And this sort of roll back, rolls back a little bit about the OPR scoring and layout um he's mentioned here as well the uh, melee feels underpowered versus ranged um and that this is still about opr this could potentially be down to the scoring and the layout again so he mentions it two or three times in this video and it just it's absolutely fantastic now my thoughts on this if you haven't seen my stream and for somehow you've ended up on the video welcome um my thoughts are this when the game launched it was extremely heavy meta it was all over the place the game genuinely is right now in a pretty good state. Bows do a lot of damage. Muskets do a lot of damage. You know, ranged can do a lot of damage. Melee needs uh, a buff in armor and things so you can actually uh, survive before you die, before you get there, or something like that. Um, but I do genuinely believe, and i said this many times, that this, the game is in a pretty good state when it comes to balance. What we need to see is the way we play it. So take wars. Right? If you don't capture the points in wars, you're not going to capture the fort. And if you don't capture the fort, then you're not going to get the money from the towns. There's something there's something to fight for. Now, in OPRs, there's nothing to fight for, really. Um, so this might not change it, but I do genuinely believe you don't want to go into an OPR and constantly end up last, especially if you are 
you know someone who like people play pvp and it's it gets competitive it genuinely does so i do believe changing the scoring system is such a good start i, I i'd like to see you get rewarded a little bit more for winning than you do just losing um at the moment it's very same same but yeah ultimately changing the scoring system will i believe now i could be wrong and i i you know they're they're following up on this as well changing the scoring system will change the way people play so if you are a ranged player and all you do is fire through the doors and you never get on point and you never really fight in close ranged that is absolutely fine but there are genuinely some exceptionally good ranged players bows muskets um fire ice whatever who get inside the point and they are genuinely fighting their ass off to make sure that they capture that point not just pinging in arrows from the distance and um both of these play styles are fine in their own right but if you are in there and you are fighting toe to toe with the enemy you should get scored more in my opinion it should be like right this this player is popping off in here they're really fighting to take this you should be you should be scoring more while fighting for the objective not just you know letting everyone else fight and then if it wins great if it loses you run away um so the scoring system i think is going to be interesting because yeah if you're playing a high dps role you typically would see yourself at the top and that's quite you know it's quite rewarding it's it's a really nice feeling to be like yes mate this is good I look at my score this is really really cool um so the scoring system change i think is just it's really needed and i hope i really really hope that this makes a good impact now the reason I would like to see this is because personally, from my point of view, and I know people agree with me and I really know people disagree with me. What I like to see in, in games like this and big battles is, uh, let, let's take 100 people, 70 people uh, clashing, Pfft, big clash, big battle. Think Helm's Deep here. Um, you know, just hordes of people just fighting each other. Think Vikings, just bam, huge clash. Um, and what's happening alongside these clashes, you'll see the arrows, Pfft, you got the arrows flying over the top um and then you have your you know a little bit of magic on the side and it's all just it's all just brilliant now i, I just you know i love game of thrones i love vikings i love lord of the rings and i ultimately i'm a pussy irl so i can't i can't fight like that so i like to do it in games i want to be a part of these mega battles so that's why throne and liberty is exciting to me that's why ashes of creations get me excited because of the huge castle sieges and just wherever you look there's going to be people fighting and it'll be crazy fun so i'd love to see a bit more more of that in new world big melee clashes and if you are a good good range player and you can support to it you're sort of fighting on the flanks taking off people that are injured that sort of thing um healers fire ice void you'll all have your spaces and places as well but there needs to be that big melee group to create a, a nice battle and then everything happens around it and i think changing the scoring system IPR will mean we fight around the objectives more um could be wrong i'm very passionate about this and i really hope this goes through so this is a really great start and any other changes coming in the next balance patch that are worth mentioning uh yeah so uh, what's coming up is a huge balance patch um a couple of things that he mentioned uh, are within this balance patch one enemy graphics enemy vfx enemy visual effects so as you know i've put a video about this before the enemy bubbles the enemy colors the enemy you know uh the enemy damage circles essentially in my opinion are horrendous and just toning down the color is not enough but it's a start so tone down the color but but we have to keep on them at this this needs to change we cannot have these big bubbles if a gravity well gets flung at you that gravity wells animation is superb it's stunning they just need to change the animation so it's slightly red um ice shower don't give us circles on it change the ice so it's a bit red uh that could also be wrong i could be wrong here but i think that is such a better a better way than slapping on these circles on top um if you agree with me let me know in the comments but this is a great start so the to it's getting toned down secondly the void blade void blade bug he's called it um the honing uh, when you are attacking the void blade at the moment it definitely feels a bit weird i've been trying it out on my heavy and i'm just like man this sucks but apparently that was genuinely something that was wrong and they're fixing that so that's that's great another big thing blocking changes they're starting to really look at blocking now hopefully that goes well with the opr changes and just general pvp changes where we're going to start to see some melee clashes and if people are using blocking instead of dodging that will really change up the game and hopefully make combat just 
you know, fantastic. Like it's genuinely good now, but just make it <laughs> awesome. And a few sort of quick fire things. There's going to be a fire stuff nerf. They're keeping a close eye on the ice gauntlet. Then eliminate some of the extremes to the bow. So giving it some damage fall off. It's pretty cool. Um, there's the saying that the melee is struggling. So the base armor of the medium and heavy armor, armor equip loads, we're getting an increase. They're going to do an overall look into the melee because they want to bring back some more melee fights. Th this this video is just... If I could have recorded this video and I could have sat there, I would have said all this shit. I absolutely love it. Um, and the musket's being closely watched. Obviously, there's a lot of players who were enjoying the musket, not enjoying it anymore because of the changes that were there. So they're going to try and... Um, they're going to look at it. They're going to look at it and it might be something that they do in the future. That's it. That is a quick look. There's a little bit of my opinion there. I don't know what to say. I've I, my my relationship with New World is this. I'm on a high one day and then I'm on a low and I'm on a high and I'm on a low and I got my friends uninstalling and I got my friends reinstalling because gaming's dry right now. And then I got friends uninstalling again and I got friends complaining to me and then I got you guys on Twitch chat saying this is fucking awesome and this is sh shit and it's it's like this right now. So I'm very happy to see this and I really hope that this just does good things for new world i really do if you like the video i enjoy you guys being here please leave a comment i love i love chatting i love hearing your opinions on this um subscribe if you haven't done so already and i will see you on the next video